majority. You can just, we, we, it's up to you, right? What matters now is the body movement to the cross zone, to the inside. Um, so you can, you can functionalize your hands. What were hits can be touches, can be pats and checks. Um, but of course, if you have the, the muscle intelligence, if your body's there, I can be peppering like I'm shooting shots and thinking about where I'm hitting at the same time. It doesn't matter. This is the idea. We know that the longer the radius, the larger the circumference. So if I am further away with my hips, it takes me a lot longer to get around them. If I'm boxing and I stay far, I can stay on the perimeter, but if I go in to zone where he can hit me, into range where he can hit me, it's very dangerous. And if I stay at that, that distance, it's vulnerable and it's very easy for it to just rotate a little bit like a tank turret and I'm always running around that fence sort of on the outside like a dog on a leash. That's why it seems to be so impossible. I'm vulnerable at that distance and he just has to tweak the body a little bit and I have to take massive amounts of stumbling steps while getting hit. It's never going to work. The probability is against me. The closer I am, the easier it is to get around. So if I'm working in and I get that close in my boxing, it's obviously easier to get to the side. But the closest I can get is a body lock. There's nothing closer. If I get into a underhook and pike and I don't have good hip control or good head control, he creates distance, he can turn back and then we're face to face. So all I want to see now is I'm working in the same way, but I'm going to drive in with my head primarily, as if I'm trying to smash him in the face, and think now I want to get in with my hips. So if I'm in a position where I could choose to go out to an underhook and pike, I have that option, what we're going to do today is we're going to drive in with the hips, smother, take away his target, and try to just kind of wipe my nose on his chest. When I change sides, I naturally can't keep my face in the same orientation for very long. Yeah, you'll need an old priest and a young priest. Your head's going to be spinning around. It's not so good. So I just, I wipe like that. Boom. And in a real situation, you might be headbutting, you might be addressing the arm, hitting the groin, clawing the face, whatever it is you're doing, but you're just getting to the other side. It's one of the easiest ways to kind of feel your way to that, that cross, cross zone to the outside. I can stuff his arm, drive it down at the wrist, wrap it, or I can underhook it. Doesn't matter if I end up getting a double under, or if I end up trapping it here and kind of pulling it over, I'll take whatever I can get. But I just want to see that I can pat trap, claw my way in, get in tight, drive the hips, and step across to the far side. That's it. Mm -hmm. Back and forth.